Okay, the time has come for part four. We need to model the wheels. The wheels that we're going to model today are going to be a set size, but we will be able to change that size um, by going through the model and looking at certain sketches, um, and we'll actually label that certain sketch that we need to be able to go through to be able to change the size of the wheels so that we can use different size, we'll call them tires, they're called O-rings, the little rings around the actual wheels that give them a bit of grip. Um, so let's get straight into uh, Fusion 360 and model up these wheels. So here we are in Fusion 360. Our strategy here is that we're going to model uh, the wheel and then we'll put wheels on either side and then we'll model an axle and sort of have some way of attaching it using a screw and thread. Okay, so I'm going to create a sketch. I'm going to create a sketch on the face of the elephant here, on the face of your vehicle as well as whatever you've actually drawn. And I'm going to draw in a circle, uh, and you should be able to lock it to the midpoint of this circle. So you should see a circle appear here. And this circle is going to be 8. Remember that the actual circle was 8.5, so this will be a bit smaller than the circle all the way around. Uh, and we're going to then finish this sketch and we're going to uh, extrude this out uh, by 0 0.5 millimeters, a very thin sort of disc there. Uh, so we've got that going through there and we've got the little disc so far. Uh, and then we're going to put or build another circle on top of that. So we're gonna create a sketch on top of that circle. Um, and we're going to make that circle a bit bigger so that it acts as like what we call a flange against that. So we'll make it 12 millimeters. Okay, so this is 12 millimeters, and we're going to finish this sketch now. And we'll bring this out this time. We'll extrude this out both that circle, outer circle, and the inner circle. Uh, and we're going to bring it out one millimeter, and we're going to click on OK. So we now have. If we go into bodies, we have body one, which is the, in my case, an elephant. So I'll call it elephant. You're going to call yours whatever yours is. And this one here, um, this body here, sorry. Oh, what happened then? It just changed. Redo. Okay. Um, I don't know what happened then, so I'm going to just re extrude that. One had a bit of a glitch. Okay. So this body here, ah, no, okay. So this body here is definitely the elephant. Press enter on that one. And this body here is definitely the wheel. Okay, so now that I've got those labeled up, I can tell the difference between them. I'm now gonna create the part for the wheel. Now my, um, my uh, O-ring is going to be at maximum 3.5 millimeters in diameter. So I'm going to create a wheel uh, on this one here. And that wheel is going to be, we'll start with 22 millimeters on this sketch here. So we'll go out 22 millimeters and you can see that makes it a quite a nice size wheel. Press enter to accept that. I'm gonna finish that sketch. And this sketch here is the last sketch that's been drawn. I'm actually gonna sort of call this one the wheel size sketch. That way I'll be able to find it when I need it and I'll be able to edit that thing. So I could double click back in there and I can change the size of that diameter and it will update all of the wheels based on that wheel sketch. So I'm gonna hit finish sketch now. Now that I've got that, I can basically extrude that out and I'm gonna take that out um, five mils. So the wheel's gonna be five mil wide. That's going to be my wheel. I could put a little pattern in there if I wanted to. Uh, but the next thing I'm going to do, I'm gonna turn my elephant off. So there's a little eye next to the elephant. I'm gonna turn it off, I don't wanna see that anymore. And I'm going to construct a mid plane around the main disc of the wheel, the big disc of the wheel. So on this side, and if I use that side, I get a mid plane there and pre press OK. So if I press the home button now, I'm now going to create something called a torus, which is like a donut. And I'm going to create the torus on that plane. And the, the center point of that is going to be the center point of that circle there. And the diameter is gonna be 22 as well. Okay, uh, 
so I'm going to press enter on the diameter and now it's going to bring up this um, this extra thing here so inner diameter is 22 uh, torus diameter is going to be 3.5 that's going to be the biggest one I can get and I'm going to create a new body okay so I now have this one here I'm going to call this the torus so I now have a torus, a wheel and an elephant leaving the elephant turned off let's look at this from side to side here I'm going to do a combine I'm going to use the target body being the wheel. I'm going to use the tool body to be the torus. I can select it over here. It's going to cut it out, but I'm going to keep the tool and press OK. So what that step has done is if I turn the torus off, it's created a little indent there for the torus to nicely sit in, which is going to represent the O-ring there and there. So before I do it any further, though, I'm going to press A. Uh, a is for appearance, A for appearance, like the keyboard A. And I'm going to scroll down in here. I'm just going to pull this off here like this. I'm going to grab this out so I can see a bit more. And down in plastic and in opaque, I'm going to create this uh, plastic here uh, to be a black plastic. And I'm going to create the wheel to be a black mat so that looks slightly different you can't see it there but they will look slightly different uh, when they uh, appear in pictures and if we do it now we won't have to do it heaps later so i hit close on that if you really want to i'm going to make my elephant let's apply a color to my elephant my elephant is going to be a glossy gray because you know elephants are gray okay so i'm going to hit close on that now so I've now got a grey elephant with a, a single wheel on that side there. If I do a, a view here and view this from the right hand side and I press the, actually I won't press the move and copy yet. What I need to do is I need to put a wheel on the other side of the elephant. So I'm going to construct a mid plane and I'm going to construct it on from between this face of the elephant and this face of the elephant. And there's the mid-plane there. And I'm going to use that mid-plane as a mirror. So I'm going to mirror. This is a mirror button here. And I'm going to mirror the wheel and the torus. And I'm going to mirror on the mirror plane this one here. Um, and press OK. So you can now see that I will have an extra wheel on the other side and an extra torus. So it says wheel 1 and torus 1 in brackets. So now I want to create from the one wheel an axle that goes through the elephant. So I'm going to turn the elephant off, I'm going to turn the second wheel off, and I'm going to turn the second torus off. I'm also going to go into constructions and turn that second plane off. I'm now going to create a sketch. Sorry, I don't need to create a sketch. I'm now going to extrude just on this middle circle here. And it's going to be going out uh, across... 25 millimeters uh, plus um, and it's going to go plus uh, five millimeters out in the other side okay so now that we've got that we're going to press OK so now I've got an axle and the axle goes into the other wheel you can see it definitely goes into the other wheel so we now need a hole in that wheel for the axle to go into so I'm going to then apply a combine again. My target is the single wheel. My tool body is the actual uh, wheel, not the torus, the wheel. I'm going to turn the other torus off so I can't select it. And I'm going to press and keep tools, press OK. So what I've done there is I've now created a hole, which you can barely see because it's black, inside that wheel there. I'm now going to create a thread, that's a thread, in here, on that surface there, and I'm going to click on Modeled, and click on OK. So that's now got a thread in there that you can actually see the thread. And now I'm going to put a thread on the other wheel, so turn that one off. I'm going to create a thread. This is getting a bit complicated, but this is how it is. Where's the thread? There it is there. 
I'm going to create a thread on this one here. It's going to not be full length. Its length is going to be five millimeters. Um, and actually we'll make it four millimeters. And then it's going to be modeled as well. If you don't have it modeled, it'll just be a look like a thread, but it won't actually be a thread. Okay, so that thread is now going to screw into this thread here, and then we've got a torus and a torus. Um, so we've got that there. I'm now going to click on move and copy, and I'm going to select the wheel, the torus, the wheel, and the torus. I'm going to turn my elephant back on. I'm going to go to the side view here. Let's just move this guy out of the way. I'm going to click on create copy, and then I'm going to drag this arrow here all the way across so that it's sort of hovering over there. It doesn't need to be perfect. This is just for appearances. And we're going to click on OK. I now have a cool little elephant with two wheels all the way around. OK, that might seem a bit fast. Um, always ask for help, or you can always re-watch the video. Um, if you need to, in order to figure out how to do those wheels. Those are a standard 22 mil size. If we want to change the wheel size, I can double click back in here. Let's just say I want to make it, I can double click on that 22 there. Let's just say I want to make it 40 for some reason. That's going to be a bit ridiculous. Press enter. That's going to be huge. Finish sketch. And there we have big 40 mil wheels. I'd also have to change the size of the torus. That can be done here, and the size of the torus would also need to be 40 millimeters. I now have the toruses in there. That's a bit ridiculous, but um, you can see that we can actually do that. Okay, so there we have our little elephant with two wheels. I know that that was a lot more complicated than anything we've done so far, but that is one way you can model the wheels uh, in order to actually enable um, a nice um, set of wheels that actually have little tires and fit nicely into your toy, your silhouette toy.